more worried about? He is. <laughs> He's the bad guy. She is. <laughs> what was it like for you guys for, to come, for, for you guys to come into this? Obviously, um, we, uh, we've already heard a little bit about reading the script, but what was it about this particular part that drew you, that drew you to the project? Oh my gosh, well, I mean, I, <laughs> playing the evil queen is like, Everyone wants to play Snow White, but I never wanted to play princess. I always wanted to play an evil villain. Um, uh, when I read this script, I, I fell in love with it instantly. I, I couldn't believe I was even uh, up for something like this. I was honored to be a part of this project. Um, and meeting Adam and Eddie, I, I read once for them, and they said thank you very much. And I left the room and I thought, shit. <laughs> I blew that one. <laughs> and uh, long and behold, I, uh, I didn't. And um, I'm very, very honored to be here working with this entire cast and, and crew and my producers. They're wonderful. And Robert, uh, playing Rumpel, obviously, it looks like you're having a lot of fun there in that, uh, in that jail cell. And you're doing something entirely different uh, when you're playing Mr. Gold. What, what's, it, is, what's it like to play two characters? Well, it's a dream. It really is a dream to play something with Rumpel Stilts. It's a fantastic, fantastic role for me. I enjoy it. It's very theatrical, which takes me back to the, my days in the theatre, strangely enough. Uh, back in the kind of early 90s and stuff. I had my own theatre company for a long time and I was very much steeped in UK theatre. So this, this performance is, is kind of scraped from, from the bits of that. So it was a, a, real, a real pleasure to be, for this script to come through the door and to read this. It's just a, a real dream. Awesome. Uh, Adam and Eddie, could you, could you tell us a little bit about how it's going to work as a series? This is, this is always my favorite question when we, when we first show The Lost Pilot. But, um, we, we really have no idea. We didn't think they'd pick it up. We didn't think any network would be dumb enough to do this. So we did not expect to be here. No matter what no, you, do. Um, you know what? It's going to work very much like the pilot in that every week we are going to go back and forth between both worlds. Uh, so maybe we're going to feature uh, the evil queen and find out a little bit more about her and then cut to Regina and tell more of her story. And, you know, we're not interested in retelling fairy tales. We're kind of interested in telling you the parts you don't know, like how did Grumpy become Grumpy and, you know, <laughs> things like that. So that is, is kind of what our hopes are for the, for the series. Uh, we, we probably will have time for just a couple of questions from, from you guys if you want. I think there's a mic there as I, as I continue. But um, uh, I, I know, obviously, it, for me it's a little bit surreal. You guys now have your own show, you're calling the shots, but obviously a lot of very talented writers on your on, on your staff. I think uh, Jane Espenson is here today. Woo! Just amongst uh, others. Can, can you just briefly talk about what it's like to uh, to run your own show? Are you having fun yet? Um, you know what? We have a really great creative team, and, and uh, it's you know it's an incredibly daunting task, but you know it's. Uh, it was it was a lot easier just running to you, but but you know the the thing about it is this is like honestly the, the sort of the highlight because it's the first time we've ever been able to really show it to to fans who you know we hope you guys will like it we hope you know you'll you'll want to see it and it's it's you know you, you get in a little bubble while you're making it but it's we're trying to do this for you guys yeah I mean absolutely and this cast and everyone here we we're so lucky to have everybody on the show and and really are just doing it hopefully that for the fans and that people will like it you know awesome uh, yes sir and please no questions about the numbers the outriggers <laughs> or the man in black's person